told you this problem is a little bit tricky, so that's all right. We're going to use the base base ten blocks to help us. All right. So have you ever used them before? Yes. Good. So first, we're going to write hundreds, tens, and ones column here. All right. So these little cubes are our ones. One cube represents one. Good. And one rod represents ten. ten. Good job. And one flat represent one hundred. Good job. But I have a harder question for you. Do you know how many tens are there in one hundred? Ten. Good, because there are ten groups of tens, right? Alright, so now first uh, let's look at the number we start with. We start with what number? 200. Good, 204. Sorry, 204. Um, so can you tell me how many hundreds are there in 204? Two. Two, so how many flats do we need? Two. Two, right. One, two, and I'm going to write two here. And how many tens do we need? Zero. Zero. So we don't need any rod here. All right. So how many ones do we need? Four. So can you count four cubes and put them in the ones column? Good. So what number did we show? Two hundred. Okay, so can you write four here? And we have zero here, right? Can you write zero here? So it's 204. All right, so now we're going to do the subtraction. What number are we subtracting? 167. Good, 167. And where do we want to start? We start with the ones place, right? So we have to subtract the seven. And how many do we want to take away? Seven, right? We have to take seven away from four. Can we do that? Can we take seven away from four? Yeah. No. So what do you think we should do? Maybe we can exchange something for ones, right? But do we have any tens here to exchange? No. So maybe we have anything else to exchange? Do you think we can exchange the one hundred into tens? Right. So let's count ten rods here. One. Do you remember we said how many tens are there in one hundred? Ten. Ten tens. Good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can exchange one hundred for ten tens, right? So we exchanged one hundred for ten tens. Now what are we going to do? We still only have four cubes, right? So we have to exchange one tens for how many ones? Ten. Ten ones. Ten one. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we exchanged one rod for how many cubes? Ten. Ten. Okay, so can you tell me how many ones do we have now? Fourteen. Fourteen, good. So we have 14 cubes here now. So do we have enough to subtract 7 now? Yes. Yes. All right. So let me write here 167 here first. And can you take 7 away from 14? All right, go ahead. All right, so we take away seven, and how many left? Seven. Seven, good. So, actually, yeah. 
Um, so, we have, we take 7 away from 14. So now, how many do we left? 7. 7. So can you write 7 here? Good. Right. So, now we only have, how many tens here? 9. 9. So can you take away 6 rows here? Alright, you can put here. So how many rows are left? 3. So can you write set 3 here? Good. So, so we have 100 here and we have to subtract 100, right? So what are we going to do? We're going to take away 100. And how many left? Zero. Zero. All right. So we have zero left, but actually we don't need to write zero here, right? So our answer is? 37. 37. Good. But let's check whether this answer is correct. So if this answer is correct, when we add 167 and 37, it would be equal to 204, right? So can you check the answer? So you're going to add 167 and 37. Alright, so is our answer correct? Good!